I have always wondered what the fate of our old analog FM radios would be in the MP3 era. These devices are now becoming obsolete as more progressive technology are taking their places. But today, we will show you a fun little project where you can transmit MP3 files to your analog radio devices and build your own little FM station. For this project, we will need a Raspberry Pi, a micro SD card with Raspbian preloaded, internet connection on the Raspberry Pi. an FM radio player. Let's get started. Run the following commands to update and upgrade your Raspberry Pi before we begin installing the required libraries. Now that your Pi is up to date, Let's install all the packages that we need for this project using the apt-get command. We will be using the GPIO pin number 4 on the Raspberry Pi. You can connect a wire to it to use it as an antenna, but we've seen from our experiments that it works just fine without it. Let's head to the home directory using the cd command. Now, we need to clone the FM transmitter project using the following git clone command. Let's head over to the project directory using the cd command and then we will use the make command to compile the project. We now need a music file in the WAV format to test out our transmitter. We can grab one using the following command. Let's head over to the project directory using the cd command. We can now play the music file using the sox command as shown. We are going to use the frequency 100.6 kHz. You can change this frequency to your liking. It is recommended to use a frequency band that is not used in your country, as that may land you into trouble. We will now tune our radio to this frequency and see if it is working. We should hear something like this. Now that everything is working perfectly, we can work on adding MP3 support to our new transmitter. Let's fire up our terminal again and start by navigating to the source folder using the cd command. We will now use the following commands to clone, configure and compile the x264 library which is needed for the latest version of FMMPEG. Now that we have the x264 library installed, we can browse to our source folder and clone the ffmpeg project. Let's enter the ffmpeg folder using the cd command. Raspberry Pi 2 users can use the command on top to configure the project, while Raspberry Pi 3 users have to use the command at the bottom of the screen. Finally, we need to compile and install the FFMPEG project.
Now that we have everything ready, we just need to enter the FM transmitter project directory using the cd command. And then we need to type in the following command. You can replace the last part of the command with the location of your own mp3 and the frequency by the frequency that you want to tune into. And now finally, we can tune into our set frequency, relax and enjoy our track playing on our classic radio set. If you like this project, click on the like button to let us know. If you have an interesting project that you want us to try out, let us know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. We upload a new video every Sunday. And as always guys, keep dialing pixels.